subconscious mind, how to unlock, and use its power. The subconscious mind, is the powerful secondary system, that runs everything in your life. Learning how to stimulate the communication, between the conscious, and the subconscious minds, is a powerful tool, on the way to success, happiness and riches. The subconscious mind, is a data bank for everything, which is not in your conscious mind. It stores your beliefs, your previous experience, your memories, your skills. Everything that you have seen, done, or thought is also there. It is also your guidance system. It constantly monitors the information, coming from the senses, for dangers and opportunities. And it would communicate, that information to the conscious mind, which you want it, to communicate, more on that tricky topic later. The communication between the subconscious, and the conscious mind, is bi-directional. Every time, when you have an idea, or an emotion, a memory, or an image from the past, this is the subconscious mind, communicating to your conscious mind. The communication in the other way, is not so trivial, and is achieved using the principle, of auto-suggestion. This article will introduce, the powers of the subconscious mind, and how they can be used, on the way to success. You will learn how to communicate better, with your subconscious, and how to set it, on the track you want it to follow. Time to read. Time to read, 18 minutes spaced, on 150 WPM. What is the subconscious mind? Have you ever read, that humans only use a portion, of their brains? Well, this is most of all, because of the subconscious mind. Scientists have never really, studied it in depth, and, we still do not know enough, about it. But we do know, that it could run, and control almost everything we do. For example, when you meditate, and you start controlling your breath, you get the control, from the subconscious mind, and give it to your conscious mind. You start breathing deep, and with your stomach. Then you stop to control it, and your subconscious starts doing it. You do not have to think, about it anymore. Your breathing, will continue to be relaxed, until another stimulus changes it. Stress for example. Everything is controlled, in the back of your head. Another example, of the tasks of the subconscious mind, is the information, coming from the senses. Your brain is bombarded, with hundreds of MB per second, of information. It would explode, if it had to review, and process everything. This is why you have a barrier, in between the subconscious mind. It processes everything, and it would only pass, this information which is relevant, for you in this very moment. The wild monkey. The best comparison, of the subconscious mind, is to a wild monkey. It can run rampage, the whole day as it does not tire easily. And it can bring random pieces, of information to the main part, of the brain. Or it could make itself busy, with achieving your goals, and bringing you the information, that you need to succeed opportunities. The only thing, you have to do is it, to give this wild monkey a purpose. Communicating, to your subconscious mind. Communicating thoughts, from your conscious mind, to your subconscious mind, is difficult because, it should be done with emotions. Only the thoughts, that are conveyed, with genuine emotions, make it to the back, of your mind. And only the thoughts, that are backed up, by a strong emotion stay there. Unfortunately, this is true both, for the negative, and the positive emotions. And also unfortunately, the negative emotions, are usually stronger, than the positive ones. Ways to improve, your self-awareness. Fear, and negative self-talk. Your first step, in harnessing the power, of the subconscious mind, is to eliminate the thoughts loaded, with negative emotions. You also need, to stop the negative self-talk, or at least make sure, 
that it is not loaded with emotions. Your fears often tend to come through, especially when you are very emotional about them. And this is why negative self-talk could produce such harmful effects. Eliminating these negative thoughts, or countering them, as soon as possible, is a very important step towards success. There is story, about the guardian angel, that always follows you. When you say to yourself, my life is awful, it writes down awful life. When you say my job is boring, it writes down, boring job. And when you say, my body is ugly, it write down ugly body. And then it goes on, and grants you all those wishes, because they are filled, with strong emotions, sadness, disappointment, regret, self-loathing. That angel is your subconscious mind. Stop here, and ask yourself, do you can afford letting negative self-talk, enter your mind? The Countering Technique one of the best practices, in reducing negative self-talk, is the counter technique. Every time a negative thought, comes to your mind, you counter it, with the extreme positive counter thought. For example, if you have an important presentation, and you think to yourself, I am going to embarrass myself, in front of all those people, immediately counter it, with no. I am going to be so good that the audience will applaud me, for five minutes. The truth will often, be somewhere in between. The Delete Button Technique Another power tool, in countering the negative self-talk, is the Delete Button. When a negative thought, enters your mind, you press the Delete Button, in your mind, and image how the thought, written on a piece of paper, is destroyed. Or you can picture in your mind, that you are smashing, the negative thought, with your fist. Burning Desire Your subconscious mind, will also act on thoughts, that are conveyed, with desire. Powered by desire, your subconscious mind, will do anything in order to obtain the object, of the desire. It would also open all available channels, to the conscious mind, for information on how to do that. When your goal, becomes the consuming obsession, of your life, and you have the burning desire, to see it come true, then you will be successful. When you have set your subconscious mind, on the task backed up, by that strong emotion, then it would allow you, to see the opportunities, in life, that would lead you, to your goal. The best athletes, become the best, only because of their burning desire, to be number one. There is nothing else, that they want from life, except this. This is the dominating dream, of their life. They are willing to do, what it takes to achieve it. Stay late after the training session, and practice their skills more. Do what it takes, to expand their skill set, and become better, than the rest. Set their subconscious mind, to look for opportunities, to achieve their goals. How can you cultivate burning desire? Start with defining, your goal. Make it as specific as possible. Make it as realistic as possible. Write it down somewhere, and feel it. The bridge burning technique. Then, burn your bridges. Destroy any safe boats, that you might keep just, in case something messes up. Our mind has evolved to help us survive, and it is then, when it achieves the best results. By burning the bridges, you set your mind, in survival mode, and the only way left, is way ahead towards the goal. The Small Wins, or Progress Far Technique Another very powerful tool, is to fill your life, with small achievements, that lead you towards the goal. If you want to lose, x kg of weight, start each day, by looking at the graph, of your progress so far. Hopefully, it is going down in general, even if there are small bumps. Put a picture on your desk, of someone who has the perfect weight, and look at it every day. 
The Motivational Technique Last but not least, find what energizes you, to work on your goal, and use it. It could be positive people, that encourage you. Or a motivational video. Or even an energizing song. In any way, make sure, that the burning desire, to achieve your goal, is part of your everyday, behind the scenes, your subconscious mind, will be bombarded with thoughts, about your goal, reinforced, by the burning desire to achieve it. Faith and Love The most powerful, positive emotions, are faith, love and sex. The first two are more spiritual, the last one is more biological. When all of them are present, they empower any thought, and it can easily enter the subconscious mind. Then, it will act on the thought, and will translate it, into actions, opportunities and ideas. Faith is a state of mind, which may be induced, or created, by affirmation, or repeated instructions, to the subconscious mind, through the principle of auto-suggestion. Faith is different than hope, because when we have faith, we are sure in the outcome. And when we hope, we are merely suggesting, to yourself one possible scenario, in uncertain circumstances. The Visualization Technique And the next step, towards achieving your goal, is to visualize it. It is based on having faith, in the outcome. Not hoping, that the desired outcome, will be true, but believing, that it is already true. One of the most powerful techniques, is visualizing your life, when your desire is already fulfilled. Set aside several minutes, a day to close your eyes, and imagine your life, after you have achieved your goal. Make it as vivid as possible. 1. What are you wearing? 2. How do you act? 3. How are you feeling? 4. What are you saying? 5. What are you doing? The Physical Preparation Technique Another tool, is a physical preparation. If you want to be famous, then start wearing those brackets, to fix your teeth now. And if you want a romantic relationship, buy an extra toothbrush, and put it in your bathroom. The Detachment Technique And last but not least, let go of your attachment, to outcomes. You can never plan, how exactly your desire, will manifest itself. Do not narrow down, on the options, that you have at the moment, but rather adopt an open mind, and have faith in the unfolding, of your dreams. Receiving communication, from your subconscious mind. As we already established, the communication between the conscious, and the subconscious mind, is two way. You give your subconscious mind tasks, desires and goals. And it gives you back information, opportunities and ideas. Have you ever wondered, why there are certain people, who easily spot new opportunities? This happens because, their subconscious mind, feeds them more information, on a specific subject, than what the other people usually get. Have you ever noticed, that as soon as you really decide to do something, there soon comes an opportunity, that allows you to do it? This is because, when you make the decision, you form a thought, and imbue it with desire, and faith. And you suddenly, start receiving the information, that you need to achieve it. Threshold, for Conscious Perception We have already established, that your subconscious mind, receives all information, that your senses generate. It then filters the information, and decides what to pass, to the conscious mind. The difference, between those two outcomes, is called threshold, for conscious perception. This is the difference, between spotting an opportunity, and missing it. It is only the matter, of the mode in which you have set your subconscious mind, and the load, 
of tasks you have given it. When you have a goal, when you have powered it, with desire, and when you have faith, in the outcome, then you will start noticing, the opportunities to fulfill, that dream, everything else is filtered out, rejected, and stored in your memories, you may gain access, to it in the future, when you have other goals, but for the time being, it is beyond the reach, of the conscious mind. Auto Suggestion Nature has given humans, an absolute control, over the information, that enters the subconscious mind, through the five senses. However, this does not mean, that everyone exercises this control. Even more, in the majority, of cases the average person, does not exercise this control. This is why so many people, go through life in poverty. The method of introducing thoughts, to the subconscious mind, is called auto-suggestion. It comprises all self-administered, stimuli, which reach one's mind through, the senses. The dominating thoughts, that remain in the conscious mind, negative, or positive, make their way to the subconscious mind, and influence it. A thought dominates, if a strong emotion faith, fear, love and so on empowers it. The Mantra Technique one of the most powerful techniques, is the mantra technique. The essence of that technique, is to repeat in your mind, or aloud, a positive mantra, that will help you overcome a difficulty, or fear. The more you repeat it, the more strong, you believe it in, the more faith you put, into your words, the better the result. According to many scientific studies, one of the major causes of illness, is hypochondria. This is the art, of convincing yourself, that you are sick. This is a powerful auto-suggestion mantra, powered by negative emotions like fear. If that is possible, then it should also, be possible to convince your mind, that you are healthy, happy, good-looking, or mentally strong. The Reading Out Load Technique Previously, you received instructions, to set a definite goal for your life. Now make sure, to write down, that goal and reinforce it, with the desire to achieve it. Read your goal aloud, after waking up, and before going to sleep, and several times a day. Visualize yourself, already in possession, of your desire. See and feel yourself in possession, of the desire. Mix emotion, when you read, and say your goals aloud. Be faithful of the outcome. Remember that, there is a price to be paid, in order to be able, to influence your subconscious mind. That price is called persistence. You have to keep doing the steps, for auto-suggestion, you have to keep repeating, your goals aloud, and you have to keep, having faith in the outcome, and the end result. The difference between those, who succeed, and those who fail may just be a few days. Or it could be the availability, of a backup plan. Those who always say, in case I do not success, I will do this, and that will always do this, and that. Because their mind would, always keep thinking about the way out. Thank you, for watching our Vidi. Please, like, and share and subscribe.